say once again uh, uh, let us uh, have uh, some uh, systematic follow up on this uh, scanline fill algorithm so first uh, you go through the execution so there there you will get an idea first let me uh, explain the execution of the program the scanline later on you follow up the uh, concepts of uh, uh, programming fine hope the screen is visible so as i shown you what happens is once you execute the program you will get the screen like this the screen with the back, black background and you have a polygon okay gl line loop this has been written by using gl line loop so you could see here what is the concept here gl line loop how you have written see this is the first thing okay so with the blue color red green blue with the blue color we are going to form a line loop using these vertices x1 y1 x2 y2 so this is the initial and the flag is set to field equal to zero where this we have this we have with this background black see okay gl color with the black background you have a blue color line loop okay this is the first concept then what we'll do we have to create a menu we have to create a menu so you have created a menu now you have created a menu here see so this is the first concept scan fill is the next concept before that what is a menu so a menu we use a flag variable okay so when you pass some value called num how do you pass so that is over here see here you pass the value 0 1 when you pass zero what has to be done when it is one flag set to zero you have to use go for a scan fill flag set to one it is a simply unfilled polygon okay so we are doing the resetting over here. see reverse zero means one one means zero as a, as such okay so you pass num over here to the menu to the menu let add menu entry you give the entry over here right click filled polygon flag set to 0 unfilled polygon flag set to 1 so this is a menu we have created a menu on clicking right button so you have clicking menu callback function okay so glut right button you have attached the menu what you have attached to the menu what you have attached to the menu glut right button of the mouse when you right click on the button what will be the two menu entries we have glut add menu entry that is filled polygon unfilled polygon unfilled polygon means you pass the variable one filled polygon means you pass the poly variable zero unfilled polygon one so you pass one when you pass one to the menu over here int num equals to one whether one double equals to zero no else right else it is not equal to zero so field equal to zero this has to be executed when field equal to zero what this you have to see over here see if field equal to zero what you have to simply form the line loop or else you have to do the go to the callback function called scan field so this i had explained now right click okay right click you will get a menu I need a unfilled polygon. Nothing is being displayed. I 
want filled polygon filled polygon again i'll go to unfilled polygon unfilled polygon filled polygon fill filled polygon uses can fill unfilled polygon it simply uses a line loop using a blue color that's it it uses a line loop using a blue color scan fill so when it is zero so with respect to the variable it is one filled equal to one it will go for a scan fill what does the scan fill does so this is what the exactly the concept is scan fill uses the concept of first it initializes all these scan lines 1 to 500 for individual scan line y equals to 1 y equals to 2 y equal till 500 it will initialize this is the initializations to understand this i said you could trace this problem to understand this i said you could trace this problem taking into the consideration 41 24 48 64 i have written here see here x4 y4 all these things x1 1 x2 y2 x3 all these things first for loop initialize for individual scan line y equals to 1 left edge of 1 equals to 8 right edge of 1 equals to 0 similarly as said you proceed for all the scan lines this is what is being done then you call edge detect for individual line for individual edge for individual edge you call the scan line for individual edge over here you call scan line this again see 2448 this one is a line call this again third 4864 so this is been called 4864 see it is been called in reverse again it is called 6441 it is called in reverse that time i said you follow the concept of the slope of the line that is what is slope of the line that is edge detect <laughs> once you call edge detect the control goes to the edge detect before you come over here before you come over here it goes to the edge detect what does the edge detect does all of you see here edge detect will copy the vertices x1 y1 x2 y2 as such this it will copy 4 1 2 4 will be copied over here okay this will be copied over here then you calculate you evaluate whether y2 is less than y1 if it yes it reverses this i have shown you in the third iteration of edge detect here third iteration of edge detect i have shown you here it happens see here similarly else simply you calculate the slope how do you calculate the slope so the slope will be calculated as in with respect to the x value y value as you know it goes in unit interval so xk equals to xk plus 1 by m this could be written as reverse of the slope so reverse of the slope could be written as x2 minus x1 by y2 minus y1 so so slope of the line is x2 minus so this will be calculated and stored in the memory to in order for the further procedure this is for the parallel line so this concept has not been given right so next initialize x1 to x then identify the left edge and the right edge for individual edge for individual date right till y equals to y1 y is less than y2 with respect to the y intercept we have we are determining the x value with respect to the y intercept because y remains the same no throughout the scan line y remains the same you have to identify the two x intercepts what is the left edge what is the right edge that you have to go on updating and finally you need to calculate the slope of the line and for comparison here right once you edge detect is part the control comes over here then you have a red color set red color using the point size one go on filling gl points the function gl begin gl end is called over here what do you fill with what range you will fill once you identify for individual scan line y equals to first scan line 500 times the scan lines are going to move so what is the left edge for single y equals to one what is right edge with rest to y equals one that is going to fill with the vertex so i my humble request is you consider this example you consider this example and you go on tracing this first initialize this this first for loop this one then what you have to do then you have to go with the tracing of this edge detect 
then <coughs> when he when i cross it i feel that i see that the updated value of re has been found in the third iteration or fourth iteration here also see first re of 3 was updated somewhere else so that will be treated as the updated value so in this case see y equals to 4 you do you have find left head right head it goes on cancel somewhere else when it goes on updating see here i have shown you somewhere else so where it has got updated as such so finally these are all the edges this has been found 44 3.42 4.6 2.82 5.2 for a scan line 3 scan line 4 scan line 5 these are all the vertices this will be go on filling this will be filled along this for the individual scan line y equals to 1 y less than equals to 8 for my program that that uh, tracing for this tracing y equals to 1 y less than equals to 8 go on filling le1 re1 equals to 4 fill with the point fill with the point as i have shown over here right as i have shown you the concept over here scan line c 1 so this will be filled first then this will be filled till 3.4 to 4.6 then this will be filled though it looks like a complete filled polygon we are using the scan line concepts in order to fill this right so this is all about the concept of scan line so i'll forward the program and also the theory uh, the part uh, theoretical part this tracing so this taking into the contraction window size 8 cross 8 and scan line number of scan lines are 8 we have traced this program okay first on the right hand side this is important initialize if you go on tracing this program you'll understand and regarding menu it is quite easy what is that see always this is a let right button it will create a option it will give an option for you to create a right on clicking right what should happen on clicking right it will create two menus that is filled polygon unfilled polygon let me assign filled polygon as 0 unfilled polygon as 1 what is filled polygon it is 0 no so it should go for scan fill filled polygon will go to the menu what is being created over here so we have set over here right filled one filled we have just reversed it okay if filled equals to 0 simply the line loop if filled equals to 1 you scan fill so this is setting and resetting of the concept okay right click filled right click unfilled this is what the concept is so if the question is being asked unfilled whether you follow the concept of scan line definitely not we are simply following this concept of a line loop we are simply call, calling the concept of line loop we are not filling the polygon whereas when you call scan fill scan fill uses the concept of edge detect and identifying see here where we have that here we have see it will identify by using four times calling edge detect with respect to the different lines you identify what is le what is re for the updated value of le and re it goes on filling by pixel how do you find the pixel see gl big in gl end use the points gl vertex 2f xy so using that it goes on filling the pixels so this is what you need to explain okay so hope all of you have understood to one extent have you understood now okay so if you have any doubts you could communicate so that i'll explain the program uh, in the manner that i could do okay so as of now i, I will stop the session i'll to the google classroom i will paste the program i'll paste you the tracing this tracing just follow this and uh, even this diagram uh, this diagram this is as per your uh, uh, program what you have 200 400 500 uh, uh, lines are there over here so if you follow this program you find it easy okay so let me end the session so those who have not given the attendance can give it right now so i'll just update the chat file uh, the previous one and merge the both the chat files and i'll upload the attendance
If you have any doubts, you could ask, or else you can leave the sessions as of now. any doubts okay uh, those of uh, uh, give the attendance can quit the session uh, so that uh, i'll upload it to the google classroom and you could uh, start uh, practicing the program